Right, hi guys. Um, hi guys. This, this is us here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we are the Gregory's. This is Soph, my wife, and Tom, Evie, smallest one, Cecily, and Harry. Mm. And behind the camera, we have roped in Soph's dad, Pete. Um, he's done a lot of professional filming <laughs> in, his, in his career. That <laughs> so is we, very unfair. <laughs> <laughs> we're, um, we're just really optimistic that this is going to go well. Um, we, um, so we, we're, we're farming um, here on the Mappin Estate. Um, we've got uh, 300 acres here. We also have 600 acres where we um, milk the main herd. Um, about 680 football pitches um, together across two sites. And um, we are, so we are, we are organic dairy farmers. Hi. And um, we sell our milk to Arla. And so do you want to talk a bit about your heifers? <laughs> so here we've got about um, 61 heifers that were born um, last year at March 2019. Um, they are. Um, they were stayed at home until um, the home farm until 12 weeks when they were weaned, and they um, then came here um, on, on a grass diet. Um, they they are um, mainly Frisian, but as you can see, there's a bit of a mixture. Um, we started the herd with some short horns um, and some jerseys, so there's a bit of a mixture here. Um, they should be in calf. Now we've had Bill and Ben, the Angus bulls, running with them, um, and then the huge calf that's of 23, 24 months old next year. Um, we um, hope that they well. We think they're about 380, about to weigh them soon. Um, about 380 kilos, which is about 70 percent of um, their mature body weight, which is what we sort of aim for um, at this stage, about 17 months old. Um, but. We are you're just about to move them to another field um, with the help of Teg. Um, hopefully it will go to plan. Um, behind us here we've got um, an SNCI. I'm going to try and get this. <laughs> it's right. Um, it's a, a site, site of nature and conservation interest. interest. It's got 51 herb and grass varieties in it and um, one of them is cowslip and then meadow sweet as well. Um, we um, try and graze this as sympathetically as possible. Um, it's really good for moths, butterflies, beetles. Um, so that's the Dorset Wildlife Trust um, monitor that and um, give us advice on that. So that's an important part. Um, it's called um, Middle Cow Leaves That Field. Um, and it's an important part of, um, of us being here and, and looking after the wildlife that's already here. Um, and yeah, as you can see, these, a lot of these heifers have yeah. uh, hand really. They're pets. And they are pets. Um, and they're the next <laughs> generation of the herd, so they're a really important part of, of the farm here. Um, anyway, let's um, give, give it a go move them on. So we're ready to move them on, yeah. are we? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to go and load up? Yeah. So um, we've got to cross this lot over the road and so then um, down across down across two fields into their... Um, into the next field they're going into. So you just going to load up our assembly in Land Rover and pull them across. And then we're going to, um, we're going to move them through. Right, should we get, um, should we get in our positions? What's our position? Well, we'll go and stand on the road and make sure there's no traffic coming. Come on. Where's the tape? Right, can you go and stand on the other gate, please? Dad, if there's any questions... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ask if there's any questions. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, just um, put them in the comments. And we'll either try and um, answer them as we go, or um, we'll answer them at the end. We'll sort of finish doing, doing bits. Um, so, yes, yeah, so once we've finished moving these, this lot through, We'll try and talk on a sort of talk on route, but um, all depending on how this sort of pans out because they're either going to follow the land over nicely or they're going to run off uh, in the opposite direction. Um, then we're going to do a little bit of fencing and I've got some muck to turn 
Um, so we'll just give a quick demonstration of that. And I'll talk about why, um, why it is that we do it. Perfect. Are we ready? I think I got that on the screen. <laughs> Yeah. Tag. Here. Ready, Zoe. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh Right, good. Mm. So the plan is that the, the heifers will follow the lander and so pulling them on. We're going to wander on behind and uh, we use Peg as well to talk, try and keep them going in the right direction. Peg's about three and a half years old. Um, we've had her since the puppy. She's still She's still quite young. Um, she's, she's a mummy. She's a very healthy farm. <laughs> We've got one heifer just wandering off now, so we'll try and um, show Teg that that's happening and hopefully she'll go around and make that. Teg, get away. Get away. Get away. 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 Teg. Bring her back. Right, they're on the way now. I hope this camera's got an anti wobble on it. <laughs> yeah, so the habit's moving pretty quick. We'll just try and catch up with them. And um, so they're following well. Hey. So we're just at the. Um, we're going towards the end of the grasses growing season. So what we're trying to do at the moment is build up a, a load of grass in front of the heifers. Um, so a field like this won't be great for another sort of three weeks. We're laying to keep them out as long as possible on the grass in their sort of natural environment. Um, because we're organic, we've got a stipulation of a minimal gra minimum grazing period of 180 days. Um, but the heifers would be out more like sort of 250 days and the cows about two can. I don't know if this is the same stray heifer, but one of them really is not that interested in following the bunch. It just seems more happy to eat. I just send Peg around again. Peg away. So it takes a couple of to, to move her 
uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise um, away and come by. The other really important one is lie down, uh, which she's just done. <laughs> Take, move them up. Good girl. But I think we better run on and catch up. Yeah. Cool. Well, they're doing really well, they're going exactly where we want them. And they're um, following the Land Rover. <laughs> Can you see the other, other group? Yeah. These are the other group of heifers. Can you zoom in on it? Yeah. There we go, up on the hill. So these, these ones we're looking at now, these are ours. Well, so they, um, they're the yearlings. I think they're a bit annoyed they're not being moved at the moment. They want to come and join in. Right, let's carry on then. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, right, good. <laughs> Lots of tag working really hard, but the heifers are doing really well in behaving. Tag's sort of doing her, her own thing. She sort of trains her thing as much as do as she's told. So she knows the soaps in front, and that's where the animals need to go. So she's positioned herself at 12 o'clock from, from the Land Rover, um, and then she'll work herself left. Together, using her natural sort of herding instinct. You can see now she's just spotted one on the far left, so she's just keeping an eye on that. Make sure it um, ends up back with the back with the herd. So I'll just I'll just send Teg away around them a minute and lie it down to the right to make sure they'll go through the gate. Teg, get away! Look at this grass. No, that went really well. I uh, made a fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this field here um, is a semi-permanent lay. Um, this would be sort of swapped in every seven years. Um, medium term and permanent pasture grass and clover mixes across the across the farm. Um, the, these ones here are this farm here is red clover. Um, we've also got some white clover down in the bottom. Um, these ones and there's the grasses mixed in as well. 
and these guys, they all work together. So the, the clovers are called a, a legume and they will take nitrogen from the, um, from the atmosphere and they fix it. Um, they, they, they fix it, in, which basically means that the, the grass needs nitrogen to grow and the, the clover will, um, will pass some of the nitrogen that it brings from the atmosphere and give it to the clover because this isn't something the clover can do. So as an organic farm, this is really important to us because it means we can be less reliant or we're not allowed to use, we don't want to use chemical fertilizers. And this is how we grow a good amount of grass for heifers. And these, are, these aren't the most ideal plant. These are dock leaves, which um, one organic farmer calls them large leaf clover, which was a really great name <laughs> to turn a weed into a positive. Um, but they're not the end of the world. They're actually really deep rooting and have to will eat them. So they're full of like vitamins and minerals. Um, I think that's right. Should we go and do some fencing? We're going to run out of time soon. Sustainable yeah. Can we talk about that? Can we talk more about that? Yeah. We, we're aiming to grow as much um, feed for the cows and the heifers um, on site so we can reduce the amount of water and feed um, and reduce our carbon footprint. Um, we're growing um, peas and barley, the wheat sometimes, um, and um, we're just we're trialling lots of different um, feeds um, instead of concentrates at the moment. Um, and we just think it's important to reduce our carbon footprint for the future. Let's turn them to the Right, I'll jump and Come on, go. Come on, go. You've got to go over there now. Well done. Just like a good scratch. Come on, then. Thank you. 
kind of uh, what kind of posts are they, Tom? These are chestnut posts um, that we're using. Um, they're a untreated hardwood, and we found that they last um, they last really well. So, if you want to move the tractor out of the way, and we'll just bag some staples in. You're on. Uh, have a good time. We'll just get the tractor out of the way. We'll bag some staples in the posts, and then we're good to go. So, we've got to lift the post basher up first before you can go anywhere. So, if you turn the tractor back on, and then put the lever. Everyone clear? <laughs> so these are the fencing staples and we're just going to leave them a little bit loose so the fence can move um, backwards and forwards and there's some big posts at the end which are um, holding the wire tight strainers Summarise off. So we we invest quite a lot of time in fencing because our animals are out um, a minimum of, um, as Tom's already told you, a, a long amount of time. Um, and so as, as we're sort of eight miles from from sites, it's really important for us to um, not worry about them getting out while we're um, working on the other farm. Um, so we do invest. We keep a map um, going. Anyone. with us, we'll try and find some comments. So she's going to take over. How are we looking? Um, has anyone got any questions? We had lots of it looks lovely here, which they're right, it really is a nice place to be. Um, and we feel we're quite fortunate to work outside. Well, we can't seem to find any, um, but we'll probably wrap it up. Yeah, we're sort of 20 minutes, we've run over a we've little bit. Over, yeah. um, thank you very much for watching everyone. Um, goodbye from um, yeah, Home Farm. And um, hopefully you'll enjoy watching the rest of the day. Bye everyone. Bye. Keep, Cheers, bu bye. keep buying bye. British dairy. Organic.